Welcome back to Wine Wednesday. I'm Josh. And I'm Monica. And today we're talking about Lake Nona. And drinking wine. Because why not? <laughs> So for today's wine, we chose a Cabernet Sauvignon. It's called Prototype, which I think is perfect because Lake Nona is this very thoughtful, master-planned, I think, prototype of a community um, that's just trying all these new things, and they're really doing it right down there. I agree. And even down to like the downtown kind of Lake Nona area, they have um, cars that drive themselves <laughs> or buses rather um, that take the residents from place to place so it's they're doing things differently and it's just truly um, a community of the future I think so yeah. prototype really uh, makes sense for this one and so you thought cars driving themselves was years away but it's, it's happening. happening right now in Lake Nona so <laughs> yep. down there and riding one yep yeah, so Lake Nona as an area is just south and a little bit east of the Orlando International Airport. So it's got great, you know, great location for um, flight attendants or pilots and just anybody who maybe works at the airport or travels a lot. Um, I have, you know, clients that want to be in the Lake Nona area because they fly a lot for work. So it's just becoming a real popular area. Let's try this prototype. All right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Um, I like it. Mm -hmm. Me too. Okay. It took a minute <laughs> for me to taste it, but that's yummy. Yeah. So what is your favorite thing in Lake Nona? So I uh, last year discovered Boxy Park. It's this park with like food and drink vendors made out of like shipping containers. <laughs> That's so cool. I know. It's it's weird, it's random, but it's really it's a really cool setting. Um, and you go in and you can just walk around. There's a lot of live music oftentimes. It's a really cool place to hang out. It's very open. Um, and me being an aviation enthusiast, I like to watch the planes fly over. So it's That's one of my favorite thing. things to, to do in Orlando <laughs> actually. Let's see. Yeah. I think they have like specific things for each holiday too. I remember yeah, they yeah. had like a pumpkin patch yep. and dress it up. Things like mm -hmm. that. Yeah. So that's pretty that's pretty cool. Yeah. It's a popular place. I mean I've seen it where the line to get in is down the block. It's but for good reason. Oh of course it's worth it, yeah. <laughs> I think my favorite thing in Lake Nona, it's silly, but they have a color wall yeah. mural. Yes. And it is so bright and cheerful and I just Oh, like when I saw it the first time, yeah. I was just like, put a smile on my face yeah. and I took several pictures in front of it because, you know, social media. So they made that um, based off the idea of the language of life, DNA. And then the other parking structure that has the zeros and ones okay. is the language of computers. So it's this like theme. I love it. That's of, so cool. I know, yeah. Oh. It's, it's very thoughtful. There's awesome artwork and murals and sculptures, statues all over Lake Nona. It's just integrated kind of everywhere you look. Yeah. It's really got a lot of personality. It's a fun place to just walk around. You, you're always going to find something new. So that's like the central Lake Nona village. Mm -hmm. um, but Lake Nona, a big part of that community is also um, the medical city. Yes. So there's big biomedical research facilities. Um, UCF has their College of Medicine out there. The Newmore's Children Hospital yep. is out there too, which is cool. When they built it, it's very modern, of course, yes. but when they built it, they built the windows with um, different colored lighting. So like the kids at night can light up their window Aww, and make it a that. different color. Yeah, so when you drive by at night sometimes, like all the different rooms That's have cool. different colored windows and it's just neat to kind of See that, yeah, yeah, it's just cool. And a lot of the communities too are built like right around that central mm -hmm. section of town. So a lot of it is pretty walkable. I know a lot of people have like golf carts or bikes <laughs> or whatever, um, but yeah, it's pretty walkable. They have um, a community called Laureate Park, which is really, really popular. 
which, you know, all the homes there, townhomes, condos, everything look very modern. I just had um, someone move here from California because they wanted to be close to the U.S. Tennis Association, so the USTA uh, yeah. national campus is there um, in, in Lake Nona, so that's a, a big draw as well. And then another big um, development coming to Lake Nona is Disney moving um, a major part of its business yes. into Lake Nona. Yeah, a lot of the corporate jobs and things that are currently in California, Disney's decided to move out to the Lake Nona area, so that's been big news. Um, I'm sure that with the influx of people coming in from California, that is just going to grow the area even yep. more. Um, so I'm excited to see what that looks like and, and what's to come with yeah. all of that. As far as homes go, they usually range between around 600,000 to upwards of you know a million and change. Um, but they're stunning homes and they're all built energy efficiently. So um, there's a reason why they're priced that way and they're you know in such good locations and walkable to everything. Yep. Another cool thing too is the whole community was built with um, fiber optics like their own internet. So that's a really great amenity for the people that live there too. Um, a lot of people work from home these days. So having reliable yes. fast internet is a really big deal and Lake Nona's taking care of that. Yeah. If you think Lake Nona would be a good fit for you or anyone you know, we would love to show you around. Please get in touch with us. I'm Josh. And I'm Monica. We'll see you next week.